Hi guys, hope you're all okay. So I've got a bit of a mammoth empties video for you today. And the reason it's so mammoth is because I've only ever done one empties video before and I did that back in April I think it was. So obviously it was just when I was just starting out um, and I just kind of saved up my April things and showed them. But from then I've got so behind with my empties videos that I just haven't done any more but I've kept saving all the stuff up, like most of it. Um, there's certain things that I remember to save because I've got loads in here and certain things that I like forget to save all the time. But I thought that I should just show you everything I've got that I've used up over the past few months and then I can start afresh and get rid of a massive bag of stuff that I had in my wardrobe. It was literally in this huge bag here, just full of products. Um, and I bought it home from uni with me and I think my mum was a bit confused as to why I kept everything when there was nothing left in them. So I'm going to start now because I don't want it to go on for too long um, and I'm just going to do all of the body and face stuff first because there's an awful lot of hair stuff that I'll kind of want to whiz through at the end. So to start with, I have used up two Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro primers. There might be more than that, like I haven't saved everything but yeah I do get through quite a lot of these because I find they don't last very long but I can't help it, like I just keep buying them because I really like them and they're not too expensive you can normally get them for about a fiver and um, when they're on offer and they just make your makeup last longer and they just feel nice on your skin so I just like those and I've also used up one of my favourite foundations which is the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation which I have in shade 52 and yeah it's all gone it looks like there's some there but that is deceiving because I can't get it out so that was really sad when that finished, but obviously foundations last forever. I actually just hate buying them because like, I just feel like I shouldn't have to replace them, they should just carry on forever. Um, but it ran out and I re-bought that because I love it. Um, then we have some face wipes. And I've got some simple radiance brightening ones, um, which I stopped using a while ago actually because they're £4, which is quite expensive for the amount you get. Um, but I did like them and I've also got these random skin therapy ones which I think my mum got me from like Wilkinson's or something um, which I just used because I didn't have any others but I've actually gone on to using um, Bioderma now which I think gets my makeup off a lot better so you probably won't see um, many more makeup wipes in my empties videos then I have some Foam Burst Oriental Calm Cherry Blossom and Rice Milk that sounds a bit like a pudding. Um, yeah, it's a really nice body lotion in the shower because it comes out like a gel and then it like foams up. Um, so I probably just get it because it's quite fun in the shower. So yeah, I like that and I used it all up. And then um, I've got perfumes here. And obviously it's been since April. And because my birthday is in December, I get loads of perfume in December and then it runs out about now. So I basically have hardly any perfume left because it's all used up. So my favourite ever perfume is Kate Moss and that's all gone. Um, it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous scent and I need to get some more of this. But I hate buying perfume for myself. I just think it's such a gift thing. I just really don't want to buy any. Um, I've also got some Harajuki Love. I don't know how you pronounce that. But um, it's actually a really small bottle of perfume because it's got this massive like flock haired dolly on top of it. So yeah, that smelled nice, so I did like that. And also I've got my J-Lo Summer Glow, I hit myself in the face with it. Moving on, my J-Lo Summer Glow perfume, um, which I showed in my, what was my most summer, what was my most worn summer perfume, it was that, um, which is why it's all gone. And what else have I got? I'm just surrounded by products on my floor. Um, I used up some Garnier Body Summer Body Deep Sunkist Look Lotion, which is no surprise because I use this a hell of a lot. Um, I've actually just used up my Saint Tropez one as well, but I'll save that for my September empties rather than showing you that now. Um, this lasted like half a year or something. I do use it a lot more now, so it probably won't, my next bottle won't last as long. But I just love this for giving yourself a subtle glow and it's just really easy and quick. Um, okay, this is a bit ridiculous. So you want to body spray. I use a lot of body spray um, and I use the same one because I'm boring and like this one so I just stick with it. So we have Impulse Very Pink, 
uh, which is my favourite body spray. And we have one, two, three, four, five cans of it. There seems to be some left in that one. I'm going to keep that and finish that. Um, I love this and I buy it a lot and that's probably not even all of them which is a bad thing, that's a bit ridiculous but I just like to spray myself at many times really um, and then we have some really boring some smooth care shave gel for sensitive skin really boring, three of those um, yeah I just seem to remember to keep the boring stuff apart from, where are you? oh, deodorant I only have one can of deodorant in my bag and I was like hmm I've definitely used more than one can since April, I promise, but I only kept this Nivea one, which is alright. I think I'm quite promiscuous when it comes to deodorant, I don't really stick to one. I'm using a good one at the moment, um, which is like a sure one. But yeah, you'll see that maybe in the September empties. And we've also got some nail polish remover that I use up, which is just an acetone free one, because I think that's better for your nails. Or like better if you have false nails, mum has false nails, so maybe that's why we have this. Um, but yeah, I finished all that up because I just change my nail colour like all the time. And also some number seven hand cream. Um, yeah, I don't, the thing I've probably got this in a set and just used it up because I just like putting hand cream on my hands. Is that all the body stuff? Oh no, it's more body stuff. Uh, Safe and Glory, Righteous Butter, love, love, love this. And it's always a really, really sad day when it runs out because it's £10. And I just don't like spending £10 on, like, body lotion. But it is a huge tub and it does last a long time and it just smells amazing. Um, yeah, if you know a cheap alternative to, like, a good smelling body butter, I would love to know that that isn't £10. Uh, and also, I've used up, there's loads of water in that from the shower, um, a Safe from Glow Flake Away, which is what I use to exfoliate before fake tanning and stuff like that. It's a small tub, but it lasts a long time. So yeah, that's all of my body stuff. I'm going to move on to all the hair care that I said that I collected now. And um, my cat's watching me, so she might come in the video in a minute. Fred! Yeah, she's called Fred. It's a long story. Okay, so I have got some Jen Frieda Colour Renew Shampoo, which is purple because it's like a purple shampoo. Um, I don't actually really like this that much, but I just use it up because... It's good for days when your hair doesn't need much toning. So basically when it gets a bit um, brassy, you use this on blonde hair and it makes it go like a lot more platinum blonde again. But this one isn't that effective, so I wouldn't really recommend it. And um, one that I would recommend, which I've used up two of, is the Umberto Guyanini? Guyanani. I don't know, you might know how that's pronounced. Um, I love the bottle, it's very pretty and luxe. Um, and this is really nice because it's not too toning but it's like toning enough you can use it probably as much as you want with this one um, and it's just a lot prettier than this so yeah I'd definitely recommend that one um, for blonde hair and then I've got some frizzies hair serum which I used because I've got quite um, dry and frizzy hair lucky me um, so I just used this before I blow dried it to help kind of combat some of that and use all of that and then I have two pots of Lee Stafford's for hair that doesn't grow past a certain length it's basically a um it's a growth treatment um but also like a conditioning mask because I know a lot of my friends especially my boyfriend have been like oh you don't actually believe that's going to make your hair grow longer do you but I had a pixie cut like literally the shortest thing you've ever seen um last year in about well, that till the summer last year and now my hair is like this length i feel like it's helped um and i feel like it just makes my hair feel nice anyway so it's a good conditioning mask even if it doesn't actually make your hair grow faster and i've long the least stafford front as well i've used up two boxes of the hot shots for blondes which are basically purple little shots that you put in your hair to again make it more blonde and less brassy yeah I have problems with brassiness sometimes especially on my roots and I've just dyed it so I do use kind of these products quite a bit and you get three shots in each of these boxes um, but I'm trying not to buy them anymore because they're kind of expensive for what they are but I do make a shot last quite a long time and then 
Sky Shampoo, uh, Batiste, always Batiste. This is the XXL Volume 1. I don't really like this that much um, anymore. I just think it's a bit chalky. Um, whereas this one, the 30 blush one, isn't chalky at all. Um, so it leaves your hair feeling a lot nicer. But if you are looking for volume, then this is good for volume. So I suppose that's what it promises. And then conditioners. I've used up uh, Frizzy's Intensive Mask, which I don't think works, I don't like. But I used it up because I don't really want to spend out too much money on conditioner. But I really, really wouldn't recommend that. I, like, did nothing. Um, one that did do something is Tresemme Thermal Recovery. This is great, and look how big this tub is. Tresemme is such, such good value for money. Um, I'm just about to do a review on my blog of the new Keratin Smooth range, and that is incredible. Um, so yeah, if you did want to look into that, just check out my blog later. And um, yeah, this really works, because I use a lot of heat on my hair because it is quite frizzy and curly, um, and did make it feel a lot nicer, and it lasted a very long time as well. And I think, lastly, I just have a whole load of hairsprays. So I've got two L'Oreal Elnet Minis, which I always take on a night out. Then I've got a big L'Oreal Elnet. Then I've got a Pantan Volume and Body, which smells incredible, it doesn't do that much. And two more Pantan hairsprays, Extra Strong which also smell really lovely and don't do that much, but if you just want a little bit of hold and nice smelling hair, then I would go for these. So I think that is all of those empties that I've been stashing, that I'm really happy that I can get rid of now, because they've kind of been bugging me and falling out of my wardrobe quite a bit. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna start doing monthly ones just with the few products that I've actually used, so I can go into a bit more detail on what I think of them. So thanks so much for watching, I hope this wasn't too long and boring, um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!